Hello, my name's Ian Pate. I work with Forma and we have curated now here this um, the exhibition that we're about to do the tour of. Um, Publicly cited work and audio work are both very, very broad fields, very broad genres. Um, and what the, the three works that we've included in this project um, show lots of different facets of what those, both of those things mean. So I'm going to take you along to the Bluetooth site um, where we'll be able to download uh, the work of Vicky Bennett. We're using technology that doesn't usually get used in this way. Um, they've had to specially build in uh, the Bluetooth device into the base of this um, poster site. What the Bluetooth device does is it will continually scan this area. It will scan and find out who has their Bluetooth device switched on. It will then find out what kind of phone it is and it will find out if it's Bluetooth compatible and start to send it information. I made this series of uh, sound collages all using uh, samples <laughs> of various things to do with communication. What You'll be downloading uh, one sample would be Telephone Man by uh, Craftwork. And we've also got Witchet Alignment, which is about another form of communication. Uh, at the end, we've got Sound of Silence, uh, which, which is mixed with radioactivity, which is a more kind of cynical look at mobile phones. I think that there should always be a lot of art that is available for free. It should be more creative. And I think it's a creative way of making art and giving art out and people not having to pay directly for it so they take a chance on it. I'm hoping that within the next minute or two, we might get some pings of people's phones going off. It's quite demanding in that everything falls silent and I think that's one of the most um, striking things about it is that, that it's just that stopping of music that you listen to in the background that actually brings your attention to that, that bird song um, and I think that's really what the, the kind of biggest part of the impact in that work. This is the um, Dial -a Diva presentation and it's a presentation of the archive from the Dial -a Diva project. Um, Dial -a Diva is a project by Zoe Irvin um, it's a celebration of a device that at the beginning of telephone technology was used um, for people to listen live to performances in theatres. Um, when, when radio became more popular, um, it, it fell out of usage. Uh, Zoe, in 2005 and 2007, recreated that experience through a call centre, enabling people to listen to live performances over the space of 24 hours from around the world. <laughs> Do you have a look at the postcard? There's a small portion of my collection so far, but they do seem to show people's relationship to the new technology of the telephone in a really interesting light. You know, obviously it's quite kind of sexy, it's also, or, or romantic, it's also rather supernatural. They are quite special, have a look. <laughs> 